Welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we will be importing DAS characters into Character Creator 3. Relusion already created such tutorial, but they're using a base character with no morphs applied and very simple clothing. We on the other hand want to use a heavily modified character with lots of morphs applied and complex clothing items. Let's get started. We're using DAS Studio 4.10 Pro and we'll be using Briellen HD. A Genesis 8 character. Briellen HD is based on Alexandra 8, which again is then based on Genesis 8 basic female. We can have a look at the character here, and we can see that just the body itself, under parameter settings, has lots and lots of morphs applied. So this is a heavily morphed character. As you can see, she's got pointy ears. Let's apply some hair. In this case, we'll use Louise hair, which is complex enough. Be mindful that there's other hairstyles, for example this elegant bun here, that is so complex that if you export it to Character Creator 3, it will slow Character Creator 3 to a halt. And that is because there's so many hair strands and so many vertices exported that it's just too complex. So you either have to decimate this hairstyle here in Dust Studio, or the first thing that you do is, in a very slow Character Creator 3, try to make your way into Insta LOD and apply the polygon reduction there. We will do a separate video on this process. All right, let's try to find some clothing items. We'll be using the Olympus Goddess outfit just because it is so complex and has a lot of little details. And this is what our character looks like. Our goal now is to get this character as closely as possible like this over to Character Creator 3. Lastly, we will be selecting a shader for the character, which is not important for the expert per se, but it makes the character look more realistic here in DAS, and then it's easier to compare the results to what we will achieve in Character Creator 3. Next, we need to create a T-pose for this character. Relusion already created some T-pose templates that can be used for the different variations of Genesis characters. On my computer, this is in public documents, Relusion, template, and so on. If you have any trouble finding this, this folder, there is a way to get to this folder that I will show you just a little bit later. For this character here, we will use the G8 female T-pose, just because this is a Genesis 8 female character. We drag and drop this DUF file right onto our character. We select the base again, and you can see the character is in a T-pose now. now before we can export, there might be some complications along the way that sometimes result in this error message, no compatible profile. There can be many reasons for this, but um, let's just talk about two of the reasons that we cannot import characters successfully into Character Creator 3. The first one was pointed out to me by uh, Rampa, uh, who replied to Psymedia here on this uh, Reillusion forum, and he points out that there is something called Geografts. Geografts are basically items that are attached to the original mesh, and sometimes they include hidden geometry. In order to fix that, we could go to Tools, Geometry Editor, and then we right-click in our main window here. And we go to Geometry Visibility and Show All Polygons. This means that all of the hidden polygons that might be in the scene here are now shown. This sometimes means that there are some hidden eyelashes or some hidden other accessories that are somewhere in the middle of the body or somewhere attached to it. And we just want to show all of this so that we can import without hiding any geometry over to Character Creator 3. That might be one solution. Another pr uh, problem is the resolution of the character. With Briellen here, um, with the root object selected, we scroll down on the right side here under parameters to resolution level. Realen is in high resolution by default. And we have to change this to base in order to export her successfully. Failing to do so will result in a compatible profile and the export process will stop. OK. Now we can go to File, Export. We select a file name, in this case, I already have one prepared, so I overwrite the existing file. And now we're at the FBX export options. It's really important that you check all of these things and you select FBX 2011 binary. 
Also, we want to go to Edit Morph Export Rules. In the Reillusion tutorial, it was suggested to ignore all of the head morphs. Now, we obviously want to export or we want to get all these head morphs across to Character Creator 3 because a lot of detail, like the ears and all the facial features, are contained as head morphs. Now, here we only have Final Anything Bake, and that's all we need. But I just want to briefly explain how this uh, process works. So I just added just a random morph that doesn't exist, but you have three options for it. You can bake, export, and ignore. So if there's anything in your character that you don't want to show up in your character in Character Creator 3, you simply try to find out what the name of the morph is, and then you add it to this list and set it to ignore. I could, for example, choose the ears if you don't want the pointy ears, and then I put this morph for the pointy ears here, and I select ignore. Anything that you want to come across to Character Creator 3, it needs to be baked. Export will completely be ignored because the way that morphs work in Dust Studio and in Character Creator 3 is not really compatible, so exporting morphs will not do really anything. They will create a slider over in Character Creator 3, but nothing will happen. All we need here then is Final Anything Bake, which basically means anything that is not specifically marked as anything else will be baked. So all of our morphs, every single one, will be baked into our final figure. Now that means that any of the morphs here actually will be lost, or the, the functionality of manipulating them will be lost in Character Creator 3. That is one of the downsides. So we cannot change the pointy ears by the morph that exists here in Dust Studio. Instead, we will have to use the morphs that exist within Character Creator 3. And yes, Character Creator 3 has morphs for ears, and the size of the ears, and the position of the ears, and so on, so we can still work with the character over there. Once we're happy with our choices here, we can click Accept and wait for the export to finish. Once the import process is completed, we head over to Character Creator 3. And this is the default project, so opening Character Creator without any other content opens like this. And we go to Transformer. We select our FBX file that we created and wait for the import. This would be also the, the point where the uh, error message would show up, so the no compatible profile. But in our case, since we took everything into account, the process should be successful. Now we have this import status report. We click Bake Body Texture in order to get the body texture across. We go to select a texture profile, which in our case is Genesis 8 Female. We now select the folder with our FBX textures. It has the same name as the FBX file that we just created, and with the ending .fbm. Select folder. And we have to choose a texture size, maximum texture size. There's not really any reason to not choose 4096, unless you're absolutely sure that you will never use such high resolution in your game or application. But if you're exporting this to Unity or Unreal Engine later on, there's always ways that you can downscale the resolution later on to save the size um, of the textures. To save some space and time, I'm just going to use two uh, a 2K resolution here. And now we have to go through all the different parts that come with the base mesh. This is hair. So we select the type hair. Crown is an accessory, I guess. <laughs> the dress is cloth, that's fine. Necklace is an accessory, shoes, and the wrists, I guess, could be gloves. Again, we have to choose the maximum size. I'll leave everything as is. I'll also leave the layers as is. There is a forum post for Reillusion that explains which items should go in which layer, but we'll leave everything as it is right now. Now, if you cannot find the folder with all the T-poses that we used earlier, you can simply click on this button here, which means you will open this folder, have to go back to that studio, drag and drop the T-pose, and start this import process again. For us, we just leave everything now as it is and click on OK. OK, let's compare our characters now. If you can see, pretty much all of the detail came across when you look at the facial features, the character mesh, all of the, the accessories, everything came across nicely. Now we can work here in Character Creator 3 with the character. We would have to fix the feet poking through and some other things. Maybe let's uh, just, for example, just select the, the dress. Let's go to 
modify, form, and calculate collision to get rid of the skin poking through here. And as you can see, that is already fixed automatically. Now the character looks quite nice. I'm not going to go through the process now of fixing the feet and everything, but that is something that you can do fairly easily. One last thing that we can do is we can actually apply a pose and see whether the accessories came through. And already you can see the, uh, the arm guards here, the wrist guards work quite well, but the crown is, is a bit of a problem. We would also then have to make sure that with some of those poses, uh, the uh, skin weight transfer was done uh, successfully for the, uh, for the dress, because here you can see there's some issues with that. But those are all things that we can fix uh, step by step. And uh, that is uh, basically in addition to the ex export process, and we can cover that in a different video. So for now, I think um, we succeeded at least in getting the character across, and all those little tweaks here we can do later. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And I thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.